Today we will build a DNS receiver of LEGO. This will be including a drop test on concrete. There are so many of GNS receivers and less software packages. So, Mr. Hanno. Yes, we build a software package. It's called Atmos Survey Wizard. But it can be connected with many GNS receivers, and there are many GNS receivers. Over 100 last time I saw it. So, how hard could it be? What actually has a GNS receiver to make it work? Yeah, well, let's start first with this antenna. It will receive actually the satellite signal and then we need an RTK module. The RTK module has a Bluetooth module to communicate with any Android device. Both this RTK module and the antenna we bought in the Arduino Simple webshop. And then uh, finally, we also need some power units. So in this case, it consists of a, a plate with four batteries inside. Otherwise, it doesn't function. But actually, it's not the last part we need. What else do we need? We need Lego! Yeah, you see it here next to Ray. There is some boy and we called in some help because he can do better Lego than Ray. Of course, if it doesn't work, we can blame him. So how is it going? It's going very well. Yeah, we, uh, we already have the mount. Let me show you. Yay! There on top we built a plate and now we have to con we did connect the USB C. So Hanno, how is it going? I'm busy with the antenna. Uh, I'm trying to solve a problem because um, it doesn't actually fit in the Lego and an antenna needs to be steady in the GNS receiver. So now I'm trying to fix it with this kind of pins that it's steady so we can get a centimeter accurate position. We're busy now half an hour and as you can see Ray has been gone. So we are now putting our faith on this kit. Can he build a GNS receiver of Lego? I'm finishing uh, this layer so that uh, we can put on uh, the skateboard and eventually uh, the, uh, this will go on and uh, then it's finished. It looks very impressive. And Ray, what are you doing? X marks the spot. I'm trying to build an X. Amateur. That's, that, that one is exactly, you know, you can use it for configuration of the RTK module inside. Just say bleep, 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 bleep. And then it will work? Definitely. Someone is putting stones, blocks that are not functional and not working. I'm betting on Raymond. What do you think? I think it's Raymond too. So Ray, are you back in your childhood? <laughs> I, feel, I feel I am. Yeah, it's Lego. Who, the, who, who did not grow up with Lego? How long this has been ago? 50 years? We have to make it strong for the drop test. Let's close our GNS receiver. Wait, I've got one final piece. Yay! <laughs> Let's see if it works. Now we build this GNS receiver of Lego. Of course, we have this RTK module that we bought at Arduino Simple. 
and when you have an RTK module, you have to configure it. To configure it, you have to put this USB cable inside the USB port and then you connect it with your computer. And we opened a browser. Then we type in 192.168.3.1 and there we have the portal of the RTK module. The only thing we need to do is to go to NMEA SBF out. It's already configured, but we will do it new. So we delete this and then we click on new. We click on serial port next com to next. We select the NMEA lines GGA and GST. We click on finish. We click on OK. And then to be sure that the LEGO GNS receiver will restart with these settings, we go to admin configurations, we select the source current NS target boot and we click OK. And that's all what we need to do to configure this LEGO GNS receiver. The GNS receiver of LEGO. This is it. Let's see. If you can be the first people that ever measure a point with a LEGO GNS receiver. Uh, I still cannot believe it, but we will see. Let's do a tricky part. Yeah, now <laughs> this is a tricky part. Mounting the LEGO GNS receiver. Just, I'll just take my time a little bit because I don't want to break it. It would destroy the complete project, so... He's always slow. Yeah, I am. Okay. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> it's there, it's there. The first thing what we need to do is to pair this LEGO GNS receiver with this tablet. So we go to settings and then we go to Bluetooth and then it's scanning and it finds a simple RTK to be light. And then we try the pairing code which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and we click OK and now it's paired. So the nice thing is that now we can use the best app for land surveying. Which is of course the Abloss Survey Wizard. So we go to Abloss Survey Wizard. <laughs> and then we go to the connection menu. We click on connect. And it already finds the simple RTK to be. And we will connect it with the entry correction network to the server so it's already put on the server and then we click on connect and we have a connection with this LEGO GNS receiver <laughs> yeah! which is great but now we want to have RTK so we can map a point and we have RTK so we can map a point now so what we do is we make a layer and we select the layer trunk so we map this trunk and we make it the color green we click ok we click ok and we go to the trunk we select the layer trunk and then we map the trunk x marks the spot and now we mapped the trunk with a LEGO DNS receiver. But now, the most important thing of this video, the drop test of this LEGO DNS receiver. Here we have some brochures of DNS receivers. And in those brochures, they talk about a test. It's the drop test. For example, this T300 Plus has some drop test and it says it's designed to survive a two meter drop onto concrete so we're here for the drop test of this lego gns receiver we can do it of different heights but probably we can just do it once we can do it of like half a meter of a meter of one and a half meter of two meters i think one and a half i know If you like this video, 
then please check this video. I'm sure you will like it.